puppy, so now it is officially spring, and I'm so excited about that, and I don't know why it excites me, maybe because my birthday is technically in spring, and stuff just happens in spring, but I don't know, it's just crazy to me that it's spring, because the next season is summer, like, what the heck is going on? So, in the springtime, a lot of us do spring cleaning. I mean, I'm not a big fan of cleaning things, but it's just a video idea, okay guys? Anyway, spring cleaning your Lush stash can be really fun and not wasteful because you're not letting anything go bad, hopefully, yes, yes. So my wonderful friend Dewey, um, she gave me this video idea to do a Lush bath cocktail, like spring cleaning type of thing, using old holiday products, um, but it has like a springy scent so you feel productive while taking a bath. So basically this cocktail is going to be in my opinion, I think it's going to be like a picnic. It's going to remind me of a picnic. So like strawberries and lemonade and like the scenery around. I don't know. It's just going to be fun and I hope you guys like it. So I know it's weird and I know this isn't using any of Lush's spring products or Easter products that they have this year or Mother's Day or whatever, but I hope you guys like the video anyway. There will be a uh, Easter haul in the future um, for this year. so. Keep your eyes out. I don't know what I was going to say, but keep your eyes out for that video. <laughs> anyway, I don't want this video to get too, too long, so I'm going to tell you my favorite comment from my previous video. If you want to see that video, I'll make sure to put it in the doobly-doo for you guys to watch it. My favorite comment is from Rachel Motes. She says, I do school online and people always ask me, are teachers robots? Like, come on now. I also get, do you have to work on the weekends? Do you get summer vacation? And y'all, let me tell you, I don't just get summer vacation. I get spring vacation, winter vacation, and fall vacation. And usually I get long weekends too. So stick that in your juice box and suck it. Okay, I loved this. I loved this comment so much because it it was just so familiar to me. It made me laugh really hard and I absolutely love that comment, Rachel. So thank you so much and thank you to everybody else who commented on this video. I loved all your comments. So if you want to be featured in one of my videos, all you have to do is comment saying really whatever you want. It could be something funny or interesting about this video or nice, whatever you want. You never know what I'm going to pick. Okay, without further ado, let's get into what we're going to be using in this springy, lush, cleaning bath cocktail. Okay, so you may notice later on in the video that I am just using Lush's Christmas products that they came out with for 2014-15, I guess. Um, the reason is because I have a lot of Christmas products left, and I'm trying to get rid of these products, and these products just so happen to go really well with each other, and I thought they would smell really nice and springy. But if you don't have all these products, you can probably substitute them with something else. It won't be exactly the same, but it will probably be pretty similar. Anyway, this is the first product we're going to be putting in this bath. It's called the Drummer's Drumming. This is a reusable bubble bar, and not only that, do you see these jingle bells? It's so exciting! Ah! Another reason I am obsessed with this reusable bubble bar, blah, 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 blah. This smells exactly like the discontinued yummy, yummy, yummy. Mighty Rage, by the way. Anyway, I loved Yummy 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 and it smells just like that. It smells like strawberries and cream. It's amazing. I kind of see this as um, bringing strawberries to a nice picnic. So I'm really obsessed with this scent and I hope they bring this out again next year. Since this is a reusable bubble bar, I'm not going to be using the whole thing, obviously. I'm just going to use it until I think there are enough bubbles in my bath. Um, it will vary depending on how many bubbles you will want, but I usually like a lot of bubbles, so I'll probably use it for a while. Okay, so this is the bath bomb we're going to be using. This is called the Sparkler, and I'm really excited to try this out because it's an odd shape for a Lush bath bomb. Yes, I know this is yellow, and most people don't like using yellow bath bombs because it'll make your water look like you have peed in it, which I can understand, but if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a different cuddle, I think there's a different color in the middle, so it won't be that bad. Plus, yellow reminds me of spring, and I'm still excited about it. I chose this bath bomb because it smells like roses, or if you've ever smelled the rose jam scent that Lush has, it smells just like that. And roses remind me of spring because it's flowery, and if we're having kind of like a spring picnic kind of theme, which is what I was going for, I feel like this is like 
the atmosphere of a picnic. So that's why I chose this one and I think it will pair well with the other two products that I chose. Okay, so this last product is actually a piece of the Starlight Starbright Bath Melt. Um, I know it's weird that it's just a piece, but I only got one at Christmas time, so I I cut it up and I used it different times. Also, if you use a whole bath melt, it is a really big waste in my opinion because you don't need that much. They are very moisturizing and that's coming from a person who has extremely dry skin. So anyway, this is really nice if you have dry skin. Um, you do not have to add this, but I really like it because the little bits of blue in this bath melt remind me of the sky on a nice sunny springy day and um, the scent is basically straight up lemons. It's very strong. The lemons reminds me of lemonade, which like obvious picnic drink, like yes and please and thank you. This is one of my all-time favorite bath melts, but if you do not have this bath melt on hand, um, another option would be the You've Been Mangoed bath melt that they have all year round at Lush. Um, so if you have the other two products and you don't have this, but you want the same effect, that is something I would recommend because it also has the same kind of texture as the You've Been Mangoed. Alright, so those are all the products we're going to be using in this spring cleaning bath and I'm really excited about it, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now my bathtub is all filled up and it's nice and bubbly now. There's not too, too many bubbles. I still have this much left of the Drummer's Drumming Reusable Bubble Bar. So I can use that uh, reusable bubble bar many, many times more. I usually, at this point, add the bath bomb first, but I'm feeling a little, uh, a little crazy today. So I'm going to put the bath melt in. Okay, so I'm just going to put this um, third of the Starlight Star Bright in there. Isn't it beautiful? I, I love I love this bath melt so much. I'm gonna put the bath bomb in and I'm so excited to use it. What is on my hand? What is that? I promise. Ew, that's gross. What is that? I seriously have no idea what was on my hand. It was hard to get off, not even kidding. Ooh, it's weird because it's like fast and foamy. How exciting. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can smell everything really strongly in this bath, so it's very springy. I like it a lot. One complaint I would have for the Drummer's Drumming uh, Bubble Bar is that it left the water kind of a weird taupe color. I don't, I don't know. It was, it was odd. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of move this. Whee! Ooh, how exciting! This is so pretty, you guys. And over there you can see the bath melt. Oh, I'm so excited. It smells so good in here. Very, very springy. Even though we're using all Christmas products. So this is why I made this video. You can use your Christmas products even though it's not Christmas time. <laughs> So it's kind of like a rose gold coming out of it. It's very glittery. This bath will probably make your bathtub uh, very glittery. So you're going to need to um, clean afterwards. Bath melt is still, still going strong, guys. Still going strong. So here's what the bath looks like from afar. I know it doesn't look like anything much, but the scent is really amazing. I love it. It's very springy and summery, and it'll get you in the mood um, of this time of year. I know um, in some parts of the world right now it's still really cold, so sorry about that, but this will hopefully remind you of the springtime because it's spring and I'm so excited. I want to thank my wonderful friend Dewey again for this video idea. If you liked this video, make sure to say thank you to Dewey in the comments. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to jump in this bath. You have no idea. If I were to do this cocktail again, I would probably put a little bit more bubble bar in, um, but I have a little bit of a hard time using reusable bubble bars, not going to lie. Um, they're a little bit confusing to me, just saying. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get a Easter haul up and then do a couple of demos. That's my goal anyway. Let me know if you try this bath cocktail at home or if you have any other uh, spring cleaning cocktail ideas because um, I would love to try them because sometimes I hoard my Lush products, not going to lie. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and I will see you guys so, so soon. I love you. Bye-bye.